Good day. I'm your host, Rocky, and today we'll be looking at the Corley and how it can be used. The Corley is the brainchild of a gentleman named Simon who lives in the United Kingdom. The Corley was initially produced in small batches using a 3D printer, but Simon has collaborated with a company to make the Corley by injection molding. Now the Corley is available through vendors internationally. A list of those vendors can be found in the comments section. Tolerances are very tight on the Corley, and this gives the do-it-yourself coil belter the consistency to repeatedly build that favorite coil and spares if desired. Measuring only 115 millimeters long and 30 millimeters wide, the Corley packs a lot of visual information into a small package. The thickness varies from one end to the other from 3 millimeters to 8 millimeters and 0.5 millimeter increments that are well labeled. It also provides width or gap measurements by using the notches associated with each incremental label. Once you have determined the leg length you need, you simply insert the coil legs into the slots associated with the length, hold the base of the coil against the coily, and trim the excess sticking out the opposite side. The coil legs need not extend from the coil on the same side, as you can simply flip the coil and cut the other leg. That is the intended use of the coily, but the coily has many edges, gaps, and measurements we can also use. For instance, the width between the separations between the coil leg slots, those between 3.5 and 6 millimeter notches are all 8 millimeters apart. The remaining ones between the 6.5 and 8 millimeter notches are 10 millimeters wide. So the coily doesn't just stop at 8 millimeters or 10 millimeters for the largest measurement. We can go beyond that if we think out of the box, so to speak. Of course, the notches can be used to measure the width or thickness of addy post, and knowing the post measurement gives the user a planning point, i.e. the coil legs need to be X length to fully engage the post. Then, considering how far away from the post the base of the coil needs to be, you can use successive notches to determine the spacing between the coil and the post and get a visual confirmation. Now you can trim the coil legs for dual coils before installing them and not have to fiddle with wiggling flush cut pliers in and out of your build. Also, if you prefer, you could even wick your coils before installation, saving a step and helping ensure a prettier, neater appearance. The coily can also be used to determine the width of the coil that you need for a particular addy, simply by measuring between the post using a combination of the gaps and the spaces in between the gaps. Additionally, the Corley can be used to measure the outer diameter of the coil. That's something important to know when you're considering the clearance up against the sidewall of your Addy. Simply place the end of the coil into the notches, find one that fits, and you have the outer diameter of the coil. You can add that to your spacing off the post, the leg lengths, and now you have a total from the end of the leg to the top of the coil and know that it will clear inside the addy and not cause a short. Postless decks like the Cthulhu Zathog can also benefit from the use of the coily. You just need to determine the depth of the holes for the coil legs before you proceed. Measure the depth, compensate for the amount of space you want off of the deck, cut your leads for the coil accordingly, and drop them in. 
And don't forget, you can wick those coals before you put them in the deck, saving time and creating a prettier, neater looking build. Single coil addies like the Haku Phenom require a little bit different procedure. First measure the width between the post, then subtract the outer diameter of the coil you're installing. Divide that number by two and trim your leads accordingly. Again, if you wish, you can use that coily to measure the width of your cotton pad you're going to use. And afterwards, all that's left is install the coil, trim the wicks, tuck your cotton in, juice it up, and get to vaping. For do-it-yourselfers, the value and versatility of the coily is only limited by your imagination and resourcefulness. I created this video to explore the additional uses of the coily. You are more than welcome to freeze frame and copy the pictures for future reference and share a link to this video. If you find other useful measurements, please let me know as I seem to find something new each time I use it. You can post your opinion of the video, and if you're interested in future videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and thanks in advance for your constructive criticisms. And as always, be safe and have a vape day.